Hello guys and welcome to Elijah Special. If you're just joining us, this is Shamaki. Been your host for over four years. I've been doing this. I've been training and uh, yeah, I basically make videos when I make discovery. You know, I just basically that's what I do. I, it's not as if I'm doing a full time training, but basically when I find issues that I am able to solve. I try to share my knowledge with you guys so if you're just joining us and this is your first time coming across this video please do not forget to click the subscribe button and drop a comment below all right today i have been meaning to do this i've been i don't know what maybe i believe there are other videos but i've been trying to edit my legend you know when i bring in you know, to edit legends has been a more of a challenge for me so i explore options and over the years i've been able to find a solution so but i don't know whether there are other people out there trying to do what i'm about to do but just follow me and don't forget to watch this video to the end all right now <clears throat> i have two legends <clears throat> and i want to edit this legend to fit into what i'm doing for example you see this legend like this it's together now i just discovered that arcgis put this together so you will think you cannot edit this but you can actually edit it to do that let me not take more of a time just right click on this and then you convert to graphics now once you convert to graphic this gives you a chance to edit each of them one by one all right so if you've converted to graphics see that it's still together you right click again and you come and ungroup now once you ungroup you discover that all of them from the legend to local gov lga to political zone geopolitical zone to you see that they are already highlighted now with this you could click on the you see i already have a legend up so i can delete this i already have lga i can delete this i can delete your political zones oh sorry let's return that now <clears throat> we need this geopolitical zone so now you see i have i can take this one and edit it now this again i can right click and ungroup it so that i want to edit maybe the name or the symbol i could do that easily too let's say i want to write another name i can just double click it will bring you back to here where you can just change the name you wanted maybe there's a mistake or anything you could just change it you know most of the times in arcgis when you let's say when you are naming if this was a future class you would you name with an underscore so on the legend you could correct it by <clears throat> coming and then just editing it like this so so i could now reduce okay i can after i'm done editing i'll just highlight whole shift and select the two then right click and group then i'll place it where i want then make adjustment to it do same to this if there's a mistake i will correct it if there is none i just placed it okay so i place this here i let me bring this down and then bring this up here then let me edit this geopolitical zone now you see what i was saying so let's use cap lock geo political zone okay then i will reduce the font it's gonna be too big so let me reduce it to 18 and uh yeah it's already bold then let's okay it and then i could put this here then reduce the font again i can't do okay i have to go under change symbol let's make it uh let's make it 14 14. okay so You make adjustment to this you make adjustment to this so basically guys this is just the little i want to show you today please do not forget to click the subscribe button and stay tuned see you in my next video